Alrighty guys, welcome to the channel. This is today's project. Haven't worked on this style in a while. Just kidding. Um, so today we have a quite a list of stuff to do in this car. Um, one of the big things uh, for safety and reliability, we're going to be replacing the rear air springs. Uh, this car has 172,000 miles on it with uh, pretty much all original everything on it. <laughs> The front brakes. Oh yeah, and accidentally knocked that off. Kind of stays on, not really. Okay, these rotors are pretty worn uh, and they're warped. So we're gonna get in here and swap these out. Half. Oh, got lucky. Well, let's see, should be able to go this way. Yeah, this has had brakes done before. It's got some weird looking pads on it. They're not too terribly thin. They've got probably, oh, I'd say 30%. So we got the rear, bra rear brakes flushed out and bled out. So this just, she just comes right out. Yeah, this is like what the Explorer use. We're going to set this one right like that. Looks like it's made by Bosch probably. It's got the Bosch logo on it. Interesting. All right, let's see what we're looking like here on brake pads. Uh, yeah, these were, they set some meat on them still. Too bad though. Yeah, this inner side's getting pretty bad. Let's get our new brake pads and make sure they give us the right ones. Oh, we got hardware. And it does appear we got the right brake pads here, so that's good. Set those aside. Looks like these got a little toasty. They both appear to be the same, top and bottom, so that's good. 18. Yeah. At least the rotor's about ready to come off. That's a nice touch. suspension is exactly the same as the Lincoln Town car that I had last year. What a project rebuilding that. So that's out. I'll just get a brush. I think I got a brush or something. Just clean the dirt off. This is pretty clean. I mean I'll just wipe that off with a towel really and then throw on the new hardware. Unlike the rears. I was trying to tap the rears off to see what the you know See if they come off easy, but no, no, they're on there. And then these are like, nope, take me off. Oh yeah, yeah, these are these are smoked. Okay, there we go. Brand new, brand new rotors. I think we're probably gonna wrap this project up for for now here in a little bit. We were gonna do the window regulator, but I think I'm, we might wait. On that, let me come out again for other shenanigans, um, which will probably be next year. We'll come out and we'll be doing the intake manifold on this because it's it's original, surprisingly. And uh, I'm just gonna run her till she pops, really. Mm. 
wonder how long these have been sitting. Figure out which one of these lowers or these uh, ones we need here looks like this style. There's another. Oh, they're all the same. There's four because there's two free sight. Imagine that. Ah, let's see, this should just go here. We'll put a little bit of stuff on here. Okay, that one's in. Whatever music those guys are listening to over there, that is just some awful stuff. Um. Just below the uh, maximum line. Well, it doesn't matter which brake pad I use, but what do I do with the other one? Oh, Dork. So let's see if this works. Um, we got a yeah, we got a spot here. Kind of working, actually. Of course, you know, I looked all over for my tool at home before I left. And uh, I couldn't find it. But this is working. Just keep squeezing it. Don't lock it all the way. And just keep squeezing it and it'll eventually go back. Hopefully these go all the way back. Okay, and our boots. Boots went in just fine. Okay, so this little piece here just pops out like that. Then you take your new one. And it just 
clicks in like that. I'll probably get that with a pair of vice grips. Um, I want to open this up because we're going to give her a few pumps and we're just going to bleed her out. Um, I'm not, he said he's got a one of those tubs with a tube thing. I'm going to see if he's uh, if he got that readily available. I'd like to use it if we can so we're not making a mess. I made a little bit of a mess on that rear passenger side and I you know, said their driveway is not very... Um, you know, it's not the best in the world and they don't really care too much, but I still don't want to make a huge jump and mess, you know. So I'll just tighten these up. And then uh, what we'll do is, yeah, we'll bleed this out. And we're bleeding it because we're putting, we want fresh fluid to go into the system. Um, but if I can use a container to uh, capture the fluid and flush that because I have a lot of brake fluid here and I want to really try and get some clean fluid to the front here okay and then we're moving okay dude she swore away all right we got front and rear brakes well we got brand new brakes up front uh, we're gonna roll with the old stuff in the back until uh, next time